Well, once again, uh, Hurricane Isa ES, as of the 5 o'clock advisory, it is moving quickly to the northwest, 15 miles per hour. It is a Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained wind, 75 miles per hour. The track has shifted a bit to the west, and I do think the models underdid the fast speed of this storm, and so it kind of pushed it a little bit more to the west before it takes that turn to the north and northeast. Should be off uh, West Palm, uh, right around West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County, somewhere tomorrow evening into the overnight hours. Hurricane warning. Uh, in effect from the Space Coast all the way down, it looks like, toward uh, Broward County. And now a hurricane watch is in effect for south and east Lake Okeechobee. Tropical storm watch in effect for all of Lake Okeechobee. So once again, we'll be monitoring this throughout the weekend. You can see on visible satellite, a little more organized, a lot of convection in the center of the storm, but boy, a lot of wind shear to the north and east, but it doesn't seem to be uh, really stopping this from uh, becoming a Category 1 hurricane as it continues to move to the northwest. Now, this weekend morning as well as the afternoon, we'll have rain bands coming in on Saturday as well as Sunday as this storm tracks to the north and then eventually toward the Carolinas. So here, what we can expect along the coast, I think around 10 to 20 mile per hour wind. I think a tropical storm force wind possible right around Lake Okeechobee and rain bands continuing to come in on Saturday and Sunday. We'll have that full forecast coming up in just a few minutes.